constructing research literature review what is important as researchers we we need to study existing literature and we are also required to review existing literature on a particular topic which is the focus of our study uh, which is you know the center of our interest on which we are working and that's the topic under investigation we must be studying the relevant the latest literature on that topic and this you know action is called literature review writing literature review right so constructing literature review is really important uh, particularly when you are focusing on your topic of interest and you are working and you are you know uh, finalizing your uh, literature survey right so you are basically constructing your research literature review um writing down a literature review is an ability which is really important and uh, necessary for a researcher to to explore and to effectively review the existing literature right so there are you know techniques there are skills which must be known by researchers in order to effectively uh, you know explore the existing literature okay um literature review basically provide us with a mosaic of uh, what is going on uh, the you know the the uh, overall picture of the area of the study the point under investigation so that would uh, you know provide us with uh, a picture uh, to to see the situation and to know the context right so literature uh, survey is really important and literature survey also you know give us uh, answers which are plausible and particularly that provides us with an opportunity to think about our research questions which are proposed by our study okay so how would we see our research questions what is available on those research questions those topics which are to be explored within our study right so that's the uh, you know literature survey which give us this opportunity to think about okay so a literature review is basically Uh, the the set of procedures materials and methodology uh, was or methodologies which are used for the study and there are some skills which are required like for example identifying those uh, you know uh, relevant uh, sources right and then evaluating uh, those relevant sources right reading them evaluating them critically and then uh you know synthesizing them right to uh, relate them with our uh, topic and under investigation right so that's the synthesizing and then the existing body of completed and recorded work right so those are the points which are uh, to be known by uh, research scholars right so in in research literature uh, review uh, while we are constructing a review we uh, do these uh, you know uh, actions right um identifying evaluating synthesizing analyzing uh, of the existing body and then you know relating them with with our um, research topic right so normally what we are doing while discussing literature uh, existing literature is that we are you know um reading about what is important right what is important about our studies okay and then what is available in the research study in the existing literature right uh, regarding our topic right and then what is missing right so when we are um, studying existing literature our focus should be basically on what is available what is important what is available and then what is missing and of course the missing gap is to be addressed by our proposed study right so these are the points which must be kept in mind by the researchers okay now let me just give you this uh, figure uh, which would discuss that how can we select keywords and how can we start with a broader level of uh, you know study and then we are narrowing down right we are narrowing down to a level where we would be focusing on our keywords in a literature research okay so it's about those uh, sources which are available on the you know eric website right so on the eric website when the keywords are used as esl then there are some 1200 articles available right 
and then when the ESL writing, uh, both of the phrases are used, then we have 336 articles, right? And then if uh, the phrase is uh, more narrowed down and it's more specific like ESL and writing strategies, then 37 articles are relevant, okay? Similarly, when ESL and writing and learning strategies, when it is made more specific, more narrowed, then we have 11 articles. So these 11 articles are particularly related with this phrase, ESL and writing and learning strategies, all right? So as a researcher, uh, you should know that how would you start with a broader studies and then how would you narrow down your topic and how would you select the keywords which are important. So you must know your keywords of the study and then you must also know your strategies of uh, researching through your keywords. So these are some of the tips which should be known to researchers.